hey guys um i decided to um just kind of like vlog today not really even a vlog i am just going to my doctor appointment to take my glucose test for uh, gestational diabetes I am not excited about that I'm really nervous uh, welcome welcome back if you're welcome and welcome back I am currently I want to say 28 weeks pregnant but for some reason my uh, like tracker for like the weeks of pregnancy is always one week behind what my doctor tells me so we'll see what I actually am but I was supposed to actually take my test two weeks ago I think it was like on in my last vlog that I yeah I think it was my last vlog that I said I had gone to my OB or I was going that day um I didn't take it because my doctor kind of dropped the ball and never told me what my next appointment was going to be about and neither did the well you guys are getting a real good view of my double chin there <laughs> enjoy it um yeah the office never even bothered to tell me why like what I was getting done either so like that was really annoying too and then I ended up like not even being able to do it that day because I needed to I think my son was had an appointment himself that afternoon or something but I was just really annoyed because they don't do confirmation calls either so like if I don't confirm my appointment that day and ask what the appointment is for I just I never know so it's just one of the things that like frustrates me about this office <laughs> And the only reason why I can even compare it is because I used to have a different doctor and she was a private doctor and she was just always on the like on it like every appointment I took a urine test because you know you really have to check the protein in um, a pregnant woman's urine and this office has never once taken a urine test in the um, 20 week 20 weeks in the 20 weeks that I have been their patient. Not once have I taken a urine test. So that's like kind of strange to me in itself. And this doctor just seems kind of like, eh, <laughs> I, we'll just go with the flow, which is great. I mean, you obviously need that energy because you know, a lot of people or a lot of moms out there, or pregnant um, people are like already kind of like, on edge and, and you it's good to have that energy you know someone calm and relaxed confident and like hey it's gonna be fine but I think that in this case uh, this doctor has taken advantage of the fact that I am you know not like that I'm not like high strung I'm not anxious I'm I'm nervous about my labor this time around I don't know why but it also could be part of the fact that my doctor just seems too relaxed you know <laughs> To where the point to the point where like in every appointment i have not given any new information she doesn't tell me what the baby's heartbeat is i have to ask um it's just things like that you know there's really no communication between the two of us is what i'm saying so i've just been going back and forth in my head thinking should i just change doctors should i not I don't know what to do. I don't like the confrontation of having to even tell her. I, I uh, you know, respect, respectfully have to change doctors, providers. So it's just like a whole thing. But today uh, I am seeing a different doctor because she's actually on leave for about three weeks uh, due to like a family emergency. But I thought I would just kind of vlog today. <laughs> and uh, kind of see my reaction to my results. <laughs> I don't know if they'll be able to tell me this, this today actually. I think it's something that they call you for afterwards. But I just dropped off Santino to my husband's grandparents' house and uh, I'm running late. I'm running late to my appointment. I mean, being a mom like you already know that 
are you guys okay with me wearing these sunglasses because it's so hot here in and bright in California that I really need these sunglasses and I need to keep my eyes on the road so this is basically just gonna be like a car vlog I wanted to kind of touch base on I kind of spoke lightly on the subject of me being nervous about my labor with my daughter in my previous video I think it was my get ready with me but I'm a little nervous because I I didn't like I didn't tear with my first I got like a little bit of like not it wasn't even a tear I forgot what it was called like laceration no it wasn't even a laceration I'm not sure what it was called but it was I really didn't even I didn't even need stitches now with my son I was really really active and I was proactive about being strong in my abdomen and my lower body because I knew I was going to need that strength for pushing I had no idea if I was going to take an epidural I didn't know if I was going to be pushing for 16 hours or or for five minutes you know luckily I ended up only pushing for about 15 minutes and he was ready to go and he came out but with my daughter I don't know yet at this point in my pregnancy if she's measuring bigger than my son I just know that from what I'm feeling she's bigger than my son um, she is so active a lot more active than my son is or was and I feel so tired uh, all the time I feel very very heavy I really haven't gained that much weight since I've had her I think the only weight I gained was about five pounds I'm actually gonna see today if I gained any more and I'll update you guys but it just it's crazy like I just feel her so heavy my doc not my doctor the ultrasound technician did say that she is a long baby as in she has very long limbs um, not so much of a long spine but she does have very long limbs so that kind of gave me a uh, an idea of what and I think that appointment I was five months I want to say so that's why I'm a little nervous. I don't know how it's going to go. I would have liked to have a natural birth with her as well because I didn't have the best experience with my epidural. Um, the, the specialist, the anesthesiologist that gave me my epidural with my son, um, he couldn't find the entry point. On top of that, uh, once he did find the entry point, his machine wasn't working, so he had to take it out come back again do a different one and at this point my contractions were just so 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 strong because my doctor decided to induce me when everything was progressing normally which I didn't understand why she felt the need to induce me and that's just I mean it's just things like that's why a lot of people tell you you know you you have you might have had a traumatic like labor so for the next one make sure that all your needs are being met that your voice is being heard that you are getting consent for every single person that's coming in your room and checking you you know all these things and I I didn't understand why but I I understand now I would have liked to have been explained a little more why I was getting the Pitocin because as soon as that Pitocin came in within an hour the contractions like were just insane I wasn't even like able to catch up my strength because you know if you're having a natural birth little by little these contractions get worse and worse and your body is little by little getting used to them and building up that strength now when you're induced you don't have that chance like within an hour you're like from a 6 to a 10 12 in pain maybe even you know so that's just how it was with um, my son luckily once the epidural finally hit, I was happy. I was a happy camper and I pushed out really quick. But had I not gotten induced, I think things would have gone differently. So, with that being said, I'm just a little 
nervous about what's going to happen with my daughter. I am still very optimistic. I am trying to be as strong as I can. And the most important thing is that she comes out healthy no matter how. I am keeping a very much open mind about giving birth naturally, giving birth with an epidural, and giving birth by C-section. I have no problem with either three. I just want her to be healthy. I'm getting emotional because um, I'm just so excited to meet her. And I'm excited for my son to meet her. So, yeah. A lot of emotions going on around here. <laughs> that's to say the least. But that's kind of like what I wanted to talk about. Like, with my nerves and my future labor. Like, what I'm feeling, you know? Like, why I even said that in my last video. But I'm also nervous about becoming a family of three to a family of four. I love my son. I mean, I'm sure you guys see that in my channel a lot, how much I adore him. But I just hate thinking that he's going to... I just hate thinking that he's going to feel maybe left out or felt that he's not the center of our attention when in fact I just I felt like he needed that company of another sibling um, I know that I grew up not alone I was very fortunate because I was the middle child but I know that my sister kind of grew up alone because my sister and I have a very large age gap. Uh, we're about eight years in age gap. And my brother and I are also in a large age gap, which is six years. I would have just liked to have siblings that were, we were closer in age, you know, and, and that's my reasoning. One of my reasonings, not all of them, as to why I... Sorry for the lighting. The sun is like glaring right on this phone. That's one of the reasons why I just decided to go ahead and do like a two, three year gap with my kids. But I know he's going to love her, adore her, protect her. She will do the same with him. He has... All, all children... Are amazing I don't think there's any bad kids out there I think that there's kids that are misunderstood I think that there's kids that are um, put in situations that they shouldn't be in and therefore they have to adapt and they have to build certain survival survival skills to adapt to their environment but I think that all children are pure I think that all children are so genuine they are just so loving and in my eyes, the perfect example of that is my son. My son is so loving. He has so much love to give. And I just feel like, why not, you know, why not add another little, little person for him to love? And to love him and for him not to feel alone, you know? So... And I, and that doesn't mean that he, like, he's not, he wouldn't be happy if he was alone, like the only child. Believe me, children are more than okay being raised, you know, as being the only child. Like, that is not a problem at all. But that, that's just my, my thought on, as to why I decided that I wanted another daughter, another baby. So, and I, I just, like, I didn't feel... I'm mean, this is probably selfish to say of me, but I didn't feel complete with just one. I wanted one more. I mean, honestly, if it, if it was up to me, I'd have five kids. <laughs> but it's definitely not up to me. But, yeah, I'm pulling up to my doctor right now. I am going to take this exam and hope for the best. But I will catch you guys up. Well, I'm back from my appointment. It went good. 
I um, took my glucose test. I drink, I drink, <laughs> I drank my drink. <laughs> I drank my drink and I don't know when I'm going to be getting the results about that. I'm hoping I'm okay. Yeah, everything went well. So uh, here's hoping that we get a good result. And I am officially 29 weeks pregnant, which means I'm officially in the third tri trimester of my pregnancy, which makes me a little nervous. But again, it's okay. She's going to get here when she's going to get here, whether it be in the next four weeks. It could be in the next... 10 weeks who knows you know but I am very excited at the same time and just hoping for the best but that's pretty much it it was just going to be a quick car vlog thank you guys so much for coming back and listening to me rant um <laughs> I really appreciate it let me know if you guys like these kind of videos uh hit like and subscribe please follow me on instagram because I'm constantly posting stories on there or just like regular posts but other than that, have a great day and see you in the next video. Bye.